Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Well, Rod Laver knows more tennis history than pretty much anybody. After all, the Rocket holds a record that will never be broken in the sport. He is the only player in tennis history to win the Grand Slam as both an amateur back in 1962 and as a professional in 1969. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of Open Era Tennis and the Australian Open's 30th anniversary at Melbourne Park, the tournament asked Laver to recall his favorite Melbourne memory and to forecast the future. Rod Laver told the Australian Open website that his favorite Melbourne Park moment came in 2006 when he presented Roger Federer with the title trophy and then watched an emotional Roger break down in tears during his victory speech. Quite an emotional moment between two iconic champions. Now, you may know that Laver learned the sport on a court his family built themselves in Australia. And of course, that Rod Laver Arena is named in his honor. But did you know that the left-handed Laver is also a world-class judge of talent? He predicted the young John McEnroe would grow into a champion and has called Federer the GOAT and Rafa Nadal the greatest competitor he's seen and he forecast the young Novak Djokovic would be a champion. So, who does Rocket Rod Laver see as the game's next great champion? A fellow lefty shot maker who reminds Rod a bit of himself, and that's Denis Shapovalov. He says in about two or three years, Denis is gonna be so close to the top that he'll have some big tournaments under his belt. He says he plays confidently all the time, that his grit and his determination are awesome, and he sees him being a great player. Labor was on hand watching Dennis play the inaugural Labor Cup in September and saw the all-court style he played in the young Canadian. The 18-year-old, by the way, is currently ranked number 51. Rafa Lund. Stand back and admire. <laughs> he wowed the tennis world, stunning Juan Martín del Potro and Rafa Nadal back-to-back -back en route to the Montreal semifinals and then reach the U.S. Open round of 16 as a qualifier. So what do you think about all that? Do you agree with Rod Laver? Which young player will win more career Grand Slams? Do you think it'll be Alexander Zarev, Dominic Thiem, maybe Grigor Dimitrov or Nick Kyrgios? Or do you think it'll be Denis Shapovalov? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Former Australian Open champion Angelique Kerber shared a sneak peek of her Adidas Australian Open outfit. And here's what some of Adidas' other players will be wearing in Melbourne. And we're going to leave you now with a gift from our friends at the Brisbane International, who asked the players to reveal their favorite Christmas gifts, and they got some interesting replies. I received lots of presents. My favorite was iPhone 8. <laughs> yeah, I got a new phone, so it was all smashed, and I bought a fixing and screen. <laughs> I took my phone shopping, just bought a nice dress. <laughs> yeah, that's just a treat again. Oh, um, well, we don't get too many presents in our family. I received this really special um, backgammon board. It's something that I've started uh, playing over the last 18 months a lot. We've got one grandchild, oh, well, my parents have got a grandchild, I've got a nephew, um, and he got very spoiled. So um, I went for a holiday down in Tassie this year and I gave him. Devil toy. Um, I received a, a bracelet from my parents, and um, we um, I, I offered um, a ring to my mother that I really liked, and uh, so she was very happy. So it's most important. Yeah, there was one stage she needed to go somewhere and she couldn't go without Tazzy, so I felt pretty happy about that. And that's our news for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.